Today we have a lot happening in this Dorset barn. We're moving gates, we're taking down walls, we're setting up a new creep area, we're moving lambs and ewes, and we're going to end it all with lamb races. These guys are hungry, so let's get started. The brain will put an end to the noise. That gives me a little room to get in and feed the bottles here because when everyone's gathered at the gate I pretty well can't get in the pen. Pretty smart with the bottles now. Hi Cupcake, how you doing? Looks like you're doing really well. She's in really good condition so we know that Chewy's doing a really good job with her. Someone mentioned in a comment that uh, I focus heavily on the white sheep but aren't showing too much of the black sheep right now, the suffix. And that's true because um, we are spending most of our time with the white sheep at the moment because they're the ones that, are, that have lambs right now. So they're the ones we have to look at more heavily. Um, that will soon flip over in the new year when all the white sheep will be pretty well quiet. There'll be a little group back there having lambs, but uh, it'll be mainly suffix and then our focus will switch to the suffix. But uh, right now, our focus is definitely on the white sheep. I think Cupcake knows that there's something going on this morning in this barn. She's up on the box and seems to be looking around as changes are going to happen shortly in here. And look at Stinky here. See what I mean? See all that uh, brown on her? That's not markings. This lamb nurses from behind on her own mom. I don't know why. So she's covered in urine. And that's why I call her Stinky. You're a really nice lamb, but you really didn't master the nursing thing too well. You didn't think that one out, I don't think. So, as you can see, we've got the skid steer in the young lamb pen. pen. Hmm. Okay, so today is lamb integration day. We're going to join these two Dorset groups into one big group on the other side. And the problem is to try get them over there now. They seem to be moving not too bad. Sometimes the, the lambs especially don't want to go to a new spot. Come on, lambies. we got two in the creep area. Come on, join the group, buddies. Two lambs on their own are always extremely hard to catch. <laughs> oh no, they see you. Go. No! Almost got them all over there. At least we got them to the front. Moms and lambs are in here. It's gonna be pretty crowded, but they'll get used to it. Just kidding. We're not gonna ever, we would never leave our sheep this crowded, ever. Step two. This is where the older group was. This is the dividing wall here. I'm going to go into the, this is Hamish's breeding group. And I'm going to go right to the very back of this group.
Even the adults like moving day. Because it's something new, right? You get bored doing the same thing every day. Even humans do. So now they'll have fun exploring that new pen. Next we're gonna move Sheriff's group. They move really easily because, like I say, they want to explore something new when a gate opens. And now for the part that's going to be a little more difficult, we're going to try and move as many of these sheep into the back pen as possible so that they're out of the way for all the work we have to do with the skid steer. Katie. So if we can get them all to the back, we got to move feeders up here. And like I say, they want to go to something new. So I'll try to hold them back here. the sheep are in this back pen now and we got nobody up front so now he's gonna reconfigure that creep area this is why we make all our panels interlocking just put up a temporary wall at the back to hold this sheep back but you can see we have little eyes on all our gates and we have metal rods all over the place that interlock. So we got them on the feeders, we got them on all our gates, and we've got them on our sidewalls as well. So we can always easily reconfigure our pens whatever way we want them reconfigured. But when the lambs get old enough and they are eating creep feed, they know their moms really well, it usually takes a month. Um, then we join uh, two groups together and we let them have the entire pen. There are a lot of reasons for it. Most of it has to do with ease of work for the farmer. So instead of um, having two creep pens going and a divider wall in the feeder for lambs that escape and climbing over from pen to pen, what we do is we string that partition down there in the creep area right across the front portion of the barn with the creep gate in it and we add several more creep feeders in there. That way all the lambs can go into one creep area and the ewes can't go up there. And it's right at the front of the barn so the, those creep uh, feeders are much easier to feed because everything's up front where all our feed is stored. And um, 
We don't need the divider wall in this pen anymore because if one of the lambs gets in there and jumps to the other side, we know where it belongs. It belongs in here because there are no lambs on the other side. And the other thing that's nice is there's going to be a big open pen now, so there's a lot more room to exercise because they can go back and forth, both the lambs and the ewes. Okay, now we've extended this temporary gate so that the sheep don't run in here. We don't want them in here because it's a little too hard to maneuver with heavy equipment when little lambs are running around. And these uh, feeders are extremely heavy. is behind you. creep feeders up front here. Now we're taking the creep area down in this pen where Hamish now is. And you can see it doesn't take long for the use to discover that there's a creep feeder there. So they're gonna clean it all up. It was pretty well empty anyway, but the lambs will have had some left over, so they'll get a little treat. So now we got two Feeders up front. And only lambs can get in here. And there's a creep area so that they can come and go. And now they have a big area to run and play in. Right now it looks crowded, but uh, once uh, everybody stops clustering, you'll see it actually is more space. So he's putting the creep feed out. We'll see how long it takes for everyone to figure out that they gotta come in here. Shouldn't be too long. All the ewes will be able to feed on one side. We already got a lamb in the feeder. I'm guessing it is 47. This is a group of 60 ewes now. We never put them bigger than 60 in a group. And this group is pretty close in age because if you remember, they all lambed really close uh, together. The second group was the very youngest, was only like a month younger than the oldest. So they're a tight group. And uh, already you can see they're hopping about on the two play pens now. Moms are feeding. We can see that little lambs have already found their mothers because they're nursing. And uh, we're getting a, quite a collection exploring the new creek area too. And this is, you see, this is how lambs get squashed. And that's why we like them to be in the creep area. The moms squash them. But see how he quickly deked under the feeder? Because there's safety under there, as long as their head isn't trapped. But Ernie just fed the ewes their grain. So now all the ewes are out of the way. And you can see how big of an area we have now for the lambs to play. And a whole bunch of them have gone into the creep area to check that out. And I'm guessing we might have some lamb races. Because they usually love the really long pen. Got a 
got a couple of dirty bums in here, but we do have um, decox in the creep mixture, which uh, prevents diarrhea. So um, we're not going to treat them. We're just going to watch that it uh, doesn't get any worse, but nobody is showing any ill effects really from it. There's Chewy. Even the moms like it. And once the lambs figure out that they can eat hay in the creep area as well, um, they will tend to stop eating with the mothers because the mothers are rough with the lambs and they don't want that. Lamb races aren't as prevalent in a small pen because they don't have the, they can't get up the momentum. to the front pen with them. This gets them in really good shape. So in the beginning, they'll probably tire out more quickly, but as they get in better shape, they'll uh, have some really awesome lamb races. See, we got a bunch of them panting already. Someone needed to be rehydrated. Are you guys tired now? Number nine, hi. Hi. You're the friendly one. See bottle babies when they come up to you? Um, you'd think that they're more friendly, but they're actually not because they start nibbling and pawing at you and they have no interest in being with you except for a bottle. Whereas number nine here is not a bottle baby. And she is actually really concerned about being your friend. This is number one. She's the firstborn. Hey! And this is the age where uh, some of them will start to become really friendly. 
Now that they're a little uh, less dependent on mom and a little more secure in themselves. And we got Stinky on the box. Oh, Stinky. Stinky's probably going to stay here because she's a registered Dorset. Peanut here has one of the nicest ram lambs in the pen. Where's, where's your lamb? Are you looking for him? He's 43. He's really, really nice, but she's pretty concerned about where he is. Where is he, Peanut? She's going to go look for him. He could be in the creep area, but she's looking back there. Oh, she found him. She just let him have a little sip, but she just wanted to make sure he was safe and wanted to know where he was. So we like that. And he's like, he called me in. He could at least give me something to drink. Peanut! So we'll see how the lambs are doing with the creep area. There'll be a little bit of crying in here as uh, moms and lambs figure out that uh, their babies and moms are still in here. Doesn't usually take too long. And we got quite a crew out in the creep area too. See, this little one here was, uh, I think she's the last born. She'll actually do better in this pen because uh, she'll have less chance of getting um, crushed. And she has a private eat area where she can eat all the time. This one's Pinky. That fat one there. Pinky is the one that got covered all in red. Because she was rolling around on her mom's fresh ink when uh, we put the numbers on their backs. This is Seymour here. And uh, Stinky's in the creep area now. So she's exploring all over the barn. Hey, Seymour. Still uh, trying to get every last morsel in the creep feeder here. <laughs> yeah, the replacement used. They were hanging outside the barn seeing what was happening. We got the Suffolk group on one side. And we got the Dorsets back there. Because never the two do mix. You guys. Hi. Hi, you guys. Hi, Hunchy. Hi. Hi. I got four that figured out how to come up here, but it's so noisy they probably can't all hear me. Lammies! Lammies! Who's 
missing. Lemmy! So, I guess we're going to leave these guys to it. And we'll see how they are tomorrow. Until then, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.